Hi everyone, this is Mr. Vanderpool. I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about how to take notes in AP Macroeconomics. So before we get into that, I want to talk about how much your notes are worth, when you turn them in, and so forth. So notes are going to be worth 100 points. You're going to go ahead and turn them in really three times. I'm going to go ahead and check them the, the next day after they were due for homework. Then you're going to go ahead and turn them in the day of the unit test. And the day, when you turn them in the day of the unit test, you're going to get 100 points for your collection of notes. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and have you put all your AP macroeconomics notes together in a binder that's going to be turned in at the end of the year. Okay, and that's a big assignment worth several, several hundred points. So it's very important that you go ahead and hold on to these notes throughout the entire year because not only are you going to be turning them in the day of the unit test, you're also going to be turning them in at the end of the year for um, this a large economics notebook assignment. And this economics notebook, the reason I do this uh, and require that assignment is because that is an excellent, excellent study tool for the AP macroeconomics exam. So let's talk a little bit about the structure of the notes. There are several ways you can take notes in this class. Um, if you would like, you can go ahead and just get out a piece of paper and take notes by hand. I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, and you will get full credit if you do that. Um, just be sure you include all the notes. You do not need to take down the notes verbatim. Okay, you can summarize. I encourage you to do that. That allows you to synthesize the material better. You can also take the notes in whatever style you choose, whether it be Cornell, note style, or some other style of your choice. The other way you can go ahead and turn in and do your notes is you can go ahead and print out the PowerPoint and take notes on each slide. So let me show you how to do that. <clears throat> so here we have um, the entire uh, chapter one notes. Okay, and let's say we want to go ahead and print that out. So we're going to go ahead <clears throat> and print. And then it's going to say, what do you want to print? And what you want to print are handouts. And then when it says number of slides per page, you want to print three slides per page. So you can see what that does is that's going to put three slides per page. And then it's going to have a couple of lines for notes next to each slide. So what you do is you'd print out this PowerPoint, and then you'd go ahead and put notes in each box next to each slide. So what am I looking for uh, in your PowerPoint notes if you print them out? Um, basically, I expect notes in every single box. If you're not taking notes in the box, if you just turn the slides into me, you're not going to get any credit. Okay, um, you can summarize what you're, what you're hearing on the video. You can summarize in the box. Um, you can summarize what you see um, on the slide in the box. That's perfectly fine. You can draw a picture. You can ask a question to yourself. I just want to see that you are processing the information through taking notes on the lines next to every single slide. Okay, so that's the key thing. If you want the points, you need to take notes on every single slide, unless I say otherwise. Also remember, ladies and gentlemen, that since these notes are over YouTube, you can go ahead and always pause the video if you need more time. You can go back as well if you need to see a topic covered again. 
So I'm going to give you credit for taking notes on every single slide or writing out the notes by hand. But you're going to get uh, a significant amount of your points are going to come from doing two separate things, the summary and the assessment. Right, so the assessment is always at the end of the notes. Okay, it looks something like this. So you're expected to answer these questions after you go through instruction. Make sure you look at my rubric on Vandernomics to see what a complete answer to a question looks like. I want you to use your critical thinking skills. I want you to use academic vocabulary. I want you to give me a complete answer to each question. And if you are uh, taking notes by hand, I want you to go ahead and write out both the question as well as give the answer. And the summary is going to look like this. It just says in a paragraph, describe what you learned today. So be sure you complete the assessment. Be sure you complete the summary. The notes are not complete unless you have done the assessment as well as the summary. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. And we will go ahead and move on. You have a good one. Bye-bye.